Jones, no eight count, no three knockdown rule. Can't be saved by any bell. I want you to do two things for me. I want you to obey my commands, but I want you to defend yourselves at all times. You want to have a good, clean fight? Shake hands and come out of the bell. In order to get a shot at Lennox Lewis, Vladimir Klitschko not only has to impress the media and fans, but his own very cautious promoters who would rather wait. He wants it sooner than later when Lewis might not be around. Tommy Brooks suggested in a newspaper quote, Vladimir will be ready for Lewis in two or three fights. Vladimir said, I have nothing but respect for Tommy to differ. Right, right, I want up, to right. fight him good right job, now. Against lesser opposition coming in, Mercer has been steamrolling his opponents, throwing 30 to 40 jabs per round. Will he do that against Klitschko? It might open him up, open him up for some big shots in return. I believe in judging a guy's performance, uh, mainly off of performance against quality opposition. And recently, Mercer has not fought quality opposition, so it's really hard to judge. This is going to be a good gauge tonight. When we asked Vladimir what would he do to stop Mercer's jab, he said, I'm going to start it off and jab first. I'm going to make him react to me. So far, Vladimir is doing exactly that. Vladimir is a good jab, and sometimes he really doesn't jab. He's using it as a probe. He kind of feels around to see the way your body moves, and then he tries to fire the right hand. Very similar to what Lennox Lewis does. Yes, and uh, his hero, Max Spelling, who Fisco says was his favorite fighter. He used to fight much like that, too. One of the things Vladimir does that you don't see in a lot of top heavyweights is to turn that jab sideways and use it as a hook. Yeah, he's, he's, he's a lot more diversified, as I've noticed in them fights, but the one thing he's got to watch out with Mercer is Mercer's jab. And Mercer has already rocked Fisco with one jab, so Vladimir knocks Mercer back with the right hand. His right hand is so fast, Emmanuel. It's a good right hand is straight through the center. At this stage, Mercer has not been able to sustain the attack, but this is typical Mercer anyway. He has stunned Vladimir twice He's with got the his... power of his jab. Yes, he gets very close before he jabs. He doesn't jab at a long distance. Mercer's chin speaks for itself. Been knocked down once by Holyfield on a body shot has never been knocked out. Left hook, let's go. Another one. Vladimir throwing a lot of punches in round one. Mercer has walked through a lot of fire during his... He's walking through a blaze right here. Fisco is punching with a lot of power and a lot of accuracy. But Mercer is still able to land the left jab because he's jabbing over top of Fisco's right hand. This time, Klitschko ducks his head and fires the left hand back three times. Glory Mercer for the left hook. And that is the first knockdown ever in Mercer's career on a punch to the head. And it was the left hook, the kind of punch we have not seen many top Europeans throw. Yes. He had Mercer preoccupied with the jab, and then he changed it into a left hook. Mercer shakes his head as if that's going to make me. Let's go overwhelmed him in the first round with power shots. You're doing a beautiful job. Keep going that way. You don't have a problem. You work perfect with your left hand. He comes right as we expected it. You have to move. You have to move a little bit more. Mercer, right, right there, you can see Crisco has opened it up. He's doing a variety of things, and Mercer is having a problem of trying to figure out what he's doing. You just don't see a lot of heavyweights, not top ones, who lead with the left hook as Klitschko is capable of doing. That's what put Mercer on his back. But everything is coming from behind a beautiful left jab. You heard Mercer's corner asking for more jabs. 
Ray may have another thought in there. He's the one who gets hit with the right hand when he throws. Mercer said, if Glitchko's coming to make a statement against Ray Mercer, he's got another thing coming. hitting him like this and Ray may soon be yeah. thinking of fishing. Yeah, it's going to be hard to see Mercer go over a couple of rounds more than this year because and he's very solidly his foundation is very good his balance is perfect all the time. Sweeps the right cross from the side to make contact with Mercer. Mercer ducking now to try to get away from the right hand. Ray still sticks that jab when he gets close. Mercer backs into the rope. Early in the Here round. Comes the insult. Ray waves him in like, come on. Fall for the sucker tactic. Again, the left hook. Three times. Flips on the side of Mercer's head. Right cross through the guard. Mercer rushes forward, Klitschko stops it with the left, Ray sticks the jab in his face. So Mercer weathered the storm there, Klitschko was perhaps a little too patient. Well, I think when Mercer started talking to him, he figured Mercer was psyching him out, and he did. <laughs> I remember when Muhammad Ali's toughness was questioned. It took about 10 years before anybody could really challenge that toughness. And this giant Ukrainian may be so good that it will take a long time before anybody can really test right, right, how right, tough right, he right. is. At this point, I'm very impressed with his performance tonight, Larry. He's doing everything perfect tonight. He's a tremendous everything, offensive fighter. Everything perfect. He's just a great offensive fighter at this moment. He is bombing Ray Mercer with big shots. And the most that Mercer can offer back is a jab. Klitschko, what he expected to do to try to defend himself against Mercer. He said, the best defense is a good offense. I'm going to make him worry about me. And that's exactly what he's doing tonight, too. You're still doing good. Keep going. We don't have any problems. We got him. There's a beautiful left hook right there, and then he comes with the right hand right through the center after he had Mercer to open his hands up and to block the hook. The right hand went right through the center. Perfect execution. Mark T. Edis Arena, Donald Trump, owner of the hotel, seated directly across the ring from us, along with Patrick Ewing and some other East Coast leading lights, here to get a look at the new heavyweight sensation. No disappointment so far in the first two rounds. Klitschko through two rounds, CompuBox numbers, 44 out of 68 power shots. In round two, Ray Mercer only through jabs, no pass. The only time that Klitschko got himself in trouble was when he punched himself out in a fight after never having gone more than seven rounds. And that may be Mercer's only very slim hope here because Klitschko is fighting at a high rate of output. Especially for a big man, it's very important. But at this stage, he's landed such a good percentage of punches that I'm quite sure it's going to have its effect on Mercer as the fight draws on too. But you're right, Larry, the only chance that Mercer has is to try to tie out Pisco. And at this stage right now, Pisco is still landing too effectively. Pisco has limited the punch output a little bit here in round three. And there is swelling around both of Vladimir's eyes from Mercer's left hand. So he sticks another right cross through the guard and stuns Mercer again. Oh, the left hook is dynamite. 
Lex Lewis throws the left hook, but almost always in combination behind with the right hand and other punches. This guy leads with it. Pesco is going to be in good shape, but right now he's throwing such a serious output of punches that I would be concerned if I was in his corner, particularly looking at his face starting to swell and mark up now. And Mercer seemed to have gotten used to being hit seemingly now, and it's kind of getting his road now. Both of Vladimir's eyes swelling up rapidly. That looks like an area of big concern to me. And it's going to give encouragement to Mercer also. Exactly. Oh, Mercer oh, lands oh, a oh. body shot. His best body punch so far. And this is a Mercer crowd, too. They're going to try to keep him in the fight. Right, right, right. Punch. Good job. Good job. If I were Mercer at this point, I'd be thinking, okay, how can I extend the fight for rounds and see what happens to those eyes? Absolutely. And I think that's what he's trying to do. That's why he's primarily fighting a defensive fight at this stage. <laughs> this round has got to be very encouraging for Mercer. Vladimir's cut man is his trainer, Fritz Sedunik. Sedunik will go. Did you score the first three rounds? Okay, Jim. Three to nothing, 30 to 26. Vladimir Klitschko. Give him a, an extra point for the knockdown. Jim, very important. The Klitschko can't put the rules being asked. What's Aberdeen? They're not familiar with it. And that's the standard that American cut men use. Well, Tommy Brooks will surely bring him up to date in the months ahead on what Avatin is. In the meantime, Fritz Sedinik will have to work on Klitschko's eyes with the end swell only. Jabs through round three by copy box numbers. Klitschko 57 of 158. Mercer 29 out of 69. So if it was a jabbing contest, Klitschko's winning that too. Klitschko still punching with a lot of power at this stage, even though he may be trying a little bit and getting hit with a few jabs, but he's still punching with a tremendous amount of power. Especially for a man who's 41 years old to be in there trying to take those blows. Up. Oh, hasn't shown that punch before. Landed it. Temporarily stunned Mercer. Now he gets in another right hand. Mercer seems stunned by Klitschko's speed and power earlier. Now has a gauge on it and is taking the punches pretty well. Absolutely, Jim. I think that's been a big factor right now. He seems to have gotten his rhythm and adjusted to his strength and size, which I think was very impressive in the beginning. He oh, there's a fast. colossal right cross, and Mercer drops his hands as if to say, I've got no defense for that, but again, he might be playing possum. And Klitschko treats him with respect. Frisco's strength is, is, strength is so tremendous that even when Mercer blocks the punches, he moves Mercer's body around. Now Ray lands a right hand upstairs, and the left jab as Klitschko drops his guard a little bit. Good movement by Klitschko to get away from that shot. Cut. Mercer tied him up. He's fighting a very good fight considering everything right now. In fact, a perfect fight and the only fight that he can fight. His eyes are swelling too, though. Mercer is an old army guy who looks like a, a Sherman tank with a gun sticking out that left hand, but he's fighting somebody with a longer gun and longer range. Oh, the right cross landed again. To land those type of punches becomes very discouraging when you hit a guy with the kind of punches that Chris has been landing this round. And he's taking all of those and still walking in and hitting with a jab. Woo. I want you to go under that jab or right. over the jab. Yeah. Okay. Start whacking the body now. All right, and come back with your left hook. Okay. All right? All right. 
Start putting them together. Keep giving them feints. Put them together. Fast lane. You have to use your left hand. Then go to the center. Let me see your eye. Looks good. You're still doing very, very good. And you use your right, right hook. You have to. Once again, you see Crisco shooting those right hands. You notice he's shooting most of them through the center now. He's not throwing them over the top. Tommy Brooks, who uh, trained Tyson, perhaps uh, paid one of the highest compliments to Klitschko when he said his hands are faster than Tyson's was. That's a tremendous compliment, especially when you consider the man is six foot six. And he maintains good balance when he finishes punching. That's what's uh, also impressive, too. Versus corner seems calm. They seem to feel like their fighter is going where they want him to go. And you can't look at Vladimir without raising the specter of the one negative event in his career. The one fight he lost 15 fights ago against an American journeyman named Ross Purity. He dominated Purity for 10 rounds and then ran out of gas in the 11th and utterly caved in. Very similar to his brother Vitaly's one loss when he quit on his stool with a hurt shoulder after nine rounds of dominating Chris Bird. So the question in the minds of many American observers is, do the Klitschko's have no heart? Is it possible that when the first adverse circumstance arises, they will cave in? Surely that's what Mercer is looking for later in the fight. That's the only thing that Mercer can, can hope for because he can't match this guy in terms of skill, strength, or anything else. But he only can hope he can wear him out Actually, he can add to that jab, which he's working very effectively going over top of Tisco's right hand. But he's going to have to add more to that later on. Another big heavyweight, Jamil McCline, seated at ringside here tonight, hoping for a shot at Klitschko down the road. Klein has moved into the top six unexpectedly. Klitschko bombs Mercer again with the right hand. Ray backs up into the ropes again. Klitschko has found a home with those straight right hands through the middle as Mercer holds his hands up on top. He's shooting most of the right hands right between the gloves. And that one he shot around the outside of the glove, sweeping it a little, as he can do, as Lennox has learned to do also in recent fights. Oh, uh, there's another one straight up the middle that was a bomb. Yeah, you're seeing it mainly. You're going back to that European style with the left hand, not really jabbing with his left hand. He's pawing and trying to anticipate the head movement of Mercer. Then he shoots the right hand. But if you say shoot, you mean shoot. Yeah. He doesn't push it. I think he's fighting a very good fight, a perfect fight, actually, regardless of what happened at this stage. Klitschko's fighting a very good fight, and Mercer too. Big left hook by Klitschko. But once Upper again, cut lands. Mercer pauses to shake his head. Klitschko says, shake it all you want. I'll hit you again and again. A very determined Vladimir Klitschko. And a big cut on the right eye, Mercer, which is closing in any event. Product of those left hooks. Somebody in Mercer's corner say to him, are we having fun yet? Well, they may be, but I don't think Mercy is. <laughs> well, they've been asking Mercer to throw the right hand over the guard, and he did, and landed it. 
think if there ever was a time that Mercer needs to change up his now, he should let everything go now. But the cut, and that's not going to get any better. He's going to have to open up. But this fight's going to have to be stopped. That cut's in a bad spot. Cut and, and swelling. And Klitschko is going to focus a little more on the left hook to oh, take yes. advantage of that cut. Ray needs to open up now. Mercer is squinting. Oh, what, oh. oh, what a right hand. I don't think Mercer can believe what's happening to him in there. I think the head shaking is all about, my God, where did this guy come? This could be the end here. There's only one heavyweight in the world who might have a chance to stand in against Vladimir Klitschko. That was a very impressive. Boom. The left hook, left hook, right hand through the middle. It was just a combination of punches. And what was so beautiful, he mixed up his attack. Even though Mercer fought with his hands held up high, he jabbed, he shot left hooks, he shot right hands through the middle. Very smart fighter. This was the prophecy of Tommy Brooks who said, when Vladimir brings his heat, Ray's going to cut. Well, I don't think anybody can take the punches that he took without something swelling moves. Very impressive performance. And even though he threw a lot of punches, he was always very relaxed, breathing very steady and consistent, where I don't think he would have tied as fast as a lot of other fighters who would have been punched in the same way, especially for a big man. Well, the skeptics will say, OK, Mercer was 41 years old. He was a stationary target. He was really finished before this fight. It doesn't mean anything. Well, Mercer was not really a good gauge to some degree, but I was still very impressed with the fighter himself. The fact that he punched accurately, mixed up his attack, didn't seem to 